and spontaneously I choose <laughs> Vilapko Jumanjali verse number 12. But then I listened from Rasa Mai that just last time they read verse number 12. So <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> So then we will read verse number 13 today. Okay. Just continue. Rasamai, you are there? Rasamai is the interpreter for Corinthians. Translator. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay. We are reading. Sri Vilap Kusumanjali by Raguna Taskuswam with the nectar comment of Sri Anantaras Babaji Maharaj. We are reading verse number 13. Mm. Sasaka Brit Abhisare Mitra Bringan Chalabhyam Dishi vidishi bhyane no gurnita bhyam vanani kuvalaya dala sanyeva kritani yabhyam kemukila kalani yo devita bhyam yano yam Oh my goddess When you go out to meet Krishna in the moonlit night, your eyes fearfully move in all directions <coughs> like bumblebees turning the whole forest into blue lotus petals. Is this person? not to be seen by these eyes. I read again. Oh my goddess, when you go out to meet Krishna in the moonlit night, your eyes fearfully move in all directions, like bumblebees turning the whole forest into blue lotus petals. Is this person not to be seen by these eyes? Notes. Every verse of Vilap Kusumanjali shows the sweetness of Srila Raghunathas Goswami's love for Srimati Radhika. Each verse is able to submerge the practicing devotee into an ocean of sweet spiritual meditation. In verse 11, Sri Raghunath Das prayed that his head may be blessed by Sri Radhika's touch. In verse 12, he prays for the benediction of his ears. And here he prays for blessings through the eyes. In this way, he hopes that all his senses will contact the supreme objects. 
Shri Radhika's form, fragrance, touch, sounds, and flavor. Because he can be served with the senses, the Lord is named Rishi Kesha. One verse from Brajvila's Stava. I have become very restless by tasting even a single drop of the memory of the divine nectar ocean of sweet rasa that is the Yugala Kishore. Although Sri Raghunath Das is eternally liberated, he still relishes the sweetness of devotion and practice. That shows how relishable devotion is, even in the stage of practice, sadhana bhakti, and that some prema is already present even in that initial stage. The savor that comes from sadhana removes all consciousness of the external world and all external endeavors will then be connected with the heart's eagerness to attain the beloved deity. First, for loving devotion is the very life force of sadhana. And if one performs one's sadhana well, this thirst will surely awaken. How eager a person like me is for sense gratification. Even in my dreams, I see only sense objects. Those who do bhajan will think only of their beloved deity. Srila Vishwanath Chakravati describes the effect of prema on the heart of the loving devotee as follows. In the stage of sadhana, the devotee is still bound by hundreds of thousands of ropes of mindness towards possessions, money, family, and friends. But when prema appears, these ropes will easily become spiritualized 
and will tightly bind the devotee to the beauty of the Yugala Kishore's transcendental forms, qualities, and pastimes. Prema rises like the sun, making the darkness of ignorance and the stars of all other human pursuits fade from the sky of the heart. In any good life of sadhana, there must be some experience like this. How many things don't I always miss in my life? But I never miss Radharani. My mind is absorbed in thinking of sense objects. I am not enthusiastic to do bhajan, and I don't experience how insignificant this world is. I cannot establish a sweet relationship with Radharani. What kind of a devotee I am. An aspirant should rebuke himself like that. When taste for bhajan awakens, the material world seems like a burning forest fire, and the devotee weeps for want of the service <clears throat> of his beloved deity. Srila Narutam Das Thakura sings Ha ha Prabhu Korodoya Karuna Sagara Micha Maya Jaletanu Dahiche Amara O Lord O Ocean of Mercy My body burns in the false network of Maya. And when the Lord asks, Do you only want freedom from that net? Then he says, No, not just that. Then maybe you would like to see me sporting in Vaikuntha or Dvaraka? No. Narottam answers the Lord in the next couplet. Kobe heno dasa hobe saki sanga pabo. Vrindavane Pulaganti Don Hake Porabo. When will I attain the company of the Sakis? String flower garlands in Vrindavan and hang them around Radha and Krishna's necks.
being a manjari. Sanmu pero hiya kobe chamara dulabo aguru chandana ganda donhe ange dibo sakira agnaya kobe tambula yogabo sindura tilaka kobe donhake porabo vilasa kili deki bo nayane Chandra Mukha Nira Kibo Bosaye Simhasane Sada Se Maduri Deki Manera Lalase Koto Dine Hobedaya Narotama Dase I will stand before them and fan them with a yak tail fan and I will anoint their limbs with aguru and sandalwood scents. On the order of the sakis, I will serve them betel leaves and I will decorate them with Tila and Sindur. I will witness their moon-like faces as they play their funny pastimes. And I will seat them on a lion throne. When will the day come that Narutam Das sees these sweet pastimes? My mind yearns for their mercy. At home, before Sri Radhika goes on Abhisa rendezvous, the Sakis ask her, Radhe, why don't you sleep a little before we go out? Sri Radhika then says, no, no, no need. I have to stay up the whole night. Sleeping will only divert my mind. So she sits up the whole night with closed eyes. She has to walk in the deep darkness over the slippery paths of Braja. So in the daytime, she throws some water over the courtyard <laughs> and starts slipping and sliding around to prepare herself for the night trip. Before she goes, she closes all doors and windows of her home. The Sakis ask her, Radhe, why are you making everything dark? You cannot even see where you walk anymore. Sri 
Shri Radhika replies, Ore, I'm just training myself for going out later tonight. When she sees the picture of a snake at her home, she shivers of fear and terror. But later, when she is out on the forest pass and she encounters a real live snake, she fearlessly covers the jewels on its hoods so that her superiors won't be able to see her in their shining light. And she even covers the snake's mouth with her own hand afraid that its hissing will be heard by her superiors. That's how she is, sometimes softer than a flower and sometimes harder than a thunderbolt. Is only Radhika going on Abhisa? Going means Sara and closer means Abhi to Krishna. No, the practicing devotees are also all on Abhisar. But their Abhisar is much slower than hers. We are on the way, chanting and hearing for 25 years. And we may think, what's the difference between my consciousness now and that of 25 years ago? It is apparat, offenses, and anatas bad habits and attachments that make us move slowly. When the life is full of devotion, there will never be any shortage of love of God. Bhajana means to search for God. Srila Jiva Goswami writes in his Priti Samba Sandarbha Devotion is not cut asunder by other topics or interests. And it can also not tolerate other purposes of life. If by the grace of Sri Guru, transcendental greed for this is awakened 
within the sadaka, then he will surely attain this relish. Bhajan means to search and cry out. Where are you, Radharani? Every individual soul is qualified to become Radhika's maidservant. This is the great unprecedented gift of Sriman Mahaprabhu. Sri Radha is the embodiment of Mahabhav. Will Maya drag me away from her? O oh, Radhe, will I be lashed by Maya, being your maidservant? The practicing devotee feels as if he has fallen away from his beloved deity, and he will cry out. O Radhe, where are you? In this way, the heart will be squashed. Can Swamini ignore the eager prayer of someone who has given up everything for her sake. Taking Sham by the hand, she will come to witness the devotee's loving activities. Bhaktira Prema Chesta Deki Krishnira Chamatkara Chaitanya Charitamrita. Krishna is astonished when he sees the loving endeavors of his devotees. The Lord is the relisher of Bhakti Rasa, the honey of devotion. Yeah. He told Arjun in Bhagavad Gita, I will eat any offering of leaves, flowers, fruits and water, which anyone may offer to me with love. O son of Kunti, whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you sacrifice, whatever you give in charity, and whatever penance you may perform, dedicate it all to me. The devotee is also very eager to attain the Lord's merciful glance. How sweet is the relation between the devotee and the Lord.
When Sri Raghunathas speaks this verse, he sees a sweet pastime with his spiritual eyes. He sees himself as Tulasi Manjari, dressing up Swamini for her rendezvous in the moonlit night. To camouflage her, she has to dress her up in fitting clothes and ornaments. So she dresses her in a swan-like white sari, anoints her body with white sandal paste and ornaments, and ornaments her with pearls and diamonds, so that it seems as if Swamini merges with the moonlight. Kiko hobo raika hari anuraga niravadi manahi manobhava jaga Sahaje ruchiratanu saji kotobati abisari sarada punamika rati. What can I say about Rai's passionate love for Hari? Cupid is constantly awaking in her mind. Her body is naturally shining with beauty and she goes out on rendezvous in a full moon night in autumn. Davalava sanatanu chandana pura aruna adare daru visada kapura Kavari upore karu kunda vitara kante vilambita moti mahara. Her body is draped in a white dress instead of her usual blue one and anointed with white sandalwood pulp. She puts white camphor lipstick on her red lips. Her braid is beautified with a garland of kunda flowers. and her pearl necklace hangs and oscillates on her neck. Kairave jampalo karatala kanti malayaya chandana balayako panti Chandaki kaumodi tanu nahe china, yai chana kshira nira nahe bina. A white kairava lotus is placed in her hand palm, hand palm, and rose of sandalwood spots are made on her jeweled bangles. 
in this way, she cannot be distinguished anymore. Just as the moonlight cannot be distinguished from the moon, and water can no longer be distinguished from the milk it is poured into. Chaya vairi na chodalo bada charane sarana koru yamini adha Gopala dase kohe suchatura gori nupurara santa tuli mukha puri The shadow that accompanies every embodied soul in the moonlight or in the sunlight as an inseparable enemy cannot harm her anymore for the night has already surrendered to her saying all right for you there won't be any shadow anymore Gopadas further sings. Thus, clever Gauri, Golden Radhika, goes out, loosening the strings of her ankle bells, so that their jingling will not betray her. Srila Rupa Goswami has written in Uchvala Nilamani. It is as if the girl merges with her own shyness. She has stifled all of her ornaments and covered herself with her veil as she goes on Abhisa with her loving girlfriends. Swamini holds to Lassie's hand and follows her on the forest path, fearfully looking here and there and saying, To Lassie, I have no other shelter but you. Take me with you. Her beautiful glances make the forest of Vrindavan even more beautiful than the carefully protected world of a newly opened blue lotus flower. Mm -hmm. Who is telling the book? Who is telling? Swamini is telling to Tulasi, I have no other shelter than you. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Take me with you. 
Sheila. Boss is starting to serve. Tulasi, I have no other shelter but you. Take me with you. This is a five hour Sanjari. This is Sanjari Bhava or Sai Bhava. What is Sanjari and what it was I? So stays. Uh, fixing Swamini or well, fixing the Seba of Swamini 24-7. And this Todasi was so fixing the Seba of Radharani. This, uh, this master it depend on the servant. Generally, shadow follow uh, that master. Servant follow master. But here, master follow shadow. And master completely depend on the maid servant and shadow. This very deep relationship and the very deep intimate relationship. Sometimes the master is higher than servant, but in this case, servant, it seems same platform, or sometimes servant, it seems little bigger because Swamini depend on completely trust. So, so, face upon trust. Torashi also so much face on Swami. So this is a very beautiful. It is described in Stai Baba. This is amazing relationship. Ciao. <clears throat> so in the beginning, there was the Sakis asking Swamini, Oh, where you are going? 
and uh, she said to her something, but not exactly. So she will go out. But Manjaris don't ask. So what is the difference? Manjaris knows where she will go. Sakis are interested where she will go, but they have no information. This is meaning of Sanchari Bar. There is no not the full face like in Tulsi. And Tulsi is Stai Bar. Right? To whom Swamini can say, I have full faith in you. In the she is new, so as high and Sanchari, you have to say in Aha. Who? Ah, you. Sorry. So, I would translate this sty and stable, no shakeable uh, mood. You know who you are in the, um, and as a servant of Swamini, exactly. If you go there, you know exactly who you are. Manjaris, in our case, Guru Devi's training in this meditation are one pointed to Radhika. They are the maid servants of her. And she is fully trusting the maid servants. The maid servants take care of everything what depends to Swamin in her uh, very private pastimes with Krishna. They can enter in all private places where they meet. Not only that, they are preparing those places, to make it beautiful for them. When Radha and Krishna meet together. But Radhika also has some friends, girlfriends, who are like same age, and uh, they are not in this mood fixed to serve Radhika. They have also some interest, self-interest in Krishna. They are, so that means they are not one point. They have Radhika, friend, but at the same time, they like to take part of Krishna. Part of meeting. Meeting also. Understand? Krishna is also not one pointed. <laughs> <laughs> there is, in this pastimes, there is only two who are one pointed actually. There are this maidservants of Radharani and Radharani herself. They are one pointed, and that means a style bar. They are, you cannot, even when Krishna meets those small maidservants, and he is very attractive. He is not like ordinary people. He's so beautiful. And because one name of him is also Cupid, that means the god of love, right? God of love, like this. And uh, so, if any person meet him, everybody is fully attracted to him. So that is also the meaning of the name Krishna. He who Vihasas unseen attracts attracts everybody. He is like a magnet. So, but the Manjaris are the only species, I would say, species in, species in all words, 
they are immune <laughs> of this attack. <laughs> but they are always fixed on Swamini's service. It's because of this. Who's Swamini? Huh? But Radhika, oh, sorry, Radhika service. You know, Radharani, we are here in the empire of Radharani. And because of this, everybody said on the street, even the uh, this, this Vadas, uh, Riksham Vadas, they say, Rate, Rate, not Hare Krishna, <laughs> Rate, Rate, only plays. So they are extremely fixed on her interest of Radhika. No? And when Krishna comes and makes some, what about us? <laughs> then they will say, yes, yes, come. I will bring you to the right place where you belong to. The other's friends, they will say, oh, yes, let's go to some hidden place. But Manjaris never do this. So, and because of this, you can read again this uh, line of how she is depend on Tulsi. There was one line. I like that. Swamini holds Tulasi's hand. Swamini holds Tulasi's hand and follows her on the forest path, fearfully looking here and there and saying, Tulasi, I have no other shelter than you. Take me with you. Beautiful. It's unique, right? Gorachanda? Hi. So beautiful. <laughs> so <laughs> she will not say to any anybody else than to the Manjari because she has full face and this is also style bath of swamini on her manjaris hmm. so tulasi is leading swamini is following <laughs> to tulasi <laughs> but not to the Sakis. There is some other meaning, and this is this other mood. So it's shakeable. Sometimes friend, yes, but also some interest, own interest. And this is the difference between the Sakis, the friends of Adarani, and their Made servants, manjaris. They will never leave their path. And this is what we can learn in this small cave here. It's underground, yeah. very hidden place. And we are so happy to listen to our Gora Chanda and just If there is no sty bath, then it's not possible. No. That Manjari can lead Radharan. No. Without that is not possible. We have also an example of this in this world. No. Who we can trust. 100%. They are very rare.
Swamini holds Tulasi's hands and follows her on the forest path. Fearfully looking here and there and saying, Tulasi, I have no other shelter but you. Take me with you. Her beautiful glances make the forest of Vrindavan even more beautiful than the carefully protected whirl of a newly opened blue lotus flower. The wonderful beauty of her eyes are as if awakening a flood of beauty on the chest of the environment's natural beauty. Swamini is afraid, but Tulasi encourages her, saying, Come, come, why are you afraid? I am here with you. Srimad Bhagavatam says, Fear itself is afraid of God. But now, in the Leela, the Lord's very pleasure potency shows signs of fear. Furthermore, in the eleventh canto of the Bhagavatam, the nine Yogendras pro pro proclaim fear is caused by forgetfulness of God, expressing itself in Deha Smiti Buddhi, the idea that I am this body, making one afraid of death, disease, old age, accidents and the lot. The Upanishads. Huh? Can you repeat? Fear is caused by forgetfulness of God, expressing itself in Deha Smiti Buddhi, the idea that I am this body makes one afraid of death, disease, old age, accidents, and the lot. The Upanishads say, Oh, hey, you conditioned souls are the children of Amrita, the nectarian lord or immortality. What are you afraid of? But Sri Radhika is Krishna consciousness personified. And still she is afraid. Her 
Her eyes are restlessly going here and there. What a wonderful Leela. The pastime of Abhisar is unique in Braja. Sita Devi or Rukmini Devi don't have to face such obstacles to meet their Lord. But Sri Radhika's love is secret and therefore more exciting and pleasing to Krishna. Swamini looks at Tulasi, who makes her fearless. She feels consoled and silently walks on. <clears throat> so it be a fun question there. <laughs> There comes one question when uh, Dora, Shant Dora Chanta said that uh, Rukmini and Sita uh, cannot face this. Uh, no, they can face the Lord uh, every time. That was the meaning. And, but Swamini not because she is not uh, in this case that she is the wife of Krishna. And uh, Goini and others, they may also have children, is it? Actually, this is more fluid in the love of yeah. Radhika that she has to face the difficulty to meet so much difficulty. She needs silence also from the other vibration. It is so pure, it's so divine, man, divine that she has to care so much. Even the anchor bell to, to make no sound, everything. Only one person is helpful who is my judge. Even the sakis are not favorable there. Because they have their personal meeting desire. So in this case, we could say that those queens, they are not in Stai Bar. They have some, also they have some own interest. Because they have some children, they have other things. So they have some different interest also on Krishna. But Swamini, because of this, maybe I was thinking about his children. Sometimes there is the question why they don't have children. Because she is giving all of her being all of her body, mind and soul is fixed to serve only Krishna. And so maybe this is also understandable that they don't have, even she don't have the children because she is not children, it's a very material body, the conscious. She is Madhanakya Mahavara. Yeah. She has a divine, divine love on me. This is happening because of Bhav. Mahabhav. Bhav, not highest bhav. <coughs> Feelings is Mahabharata. Yeah. 
and always she is living in Mahabhav, mm. highest feeling for one pointed Krishna. One, one point. Yes. And in her Our highest feeling is this. Mm. Is not body exchange, body is totally divine. Mm. It cannot possible to be divinity. If yeah. I am in bodily consciousness, we cannot feel the feeling. We are totally start calculating with mind. She is living in feeling, she has a condensed feeling. She is a body become of the feelings, is not material. They make their body Sita and this for the material body to feel something else. But this feeling is divine feeling. Uh, so it's this is another level. There. This is another level. We have yes. different levels. Oh. <laughs> Purity, mm. divine purity was. Have to understand. And this bow last Rati Mandiris has bow last is a bow last. Is how she also try to live in that feeling mm -hmm. and to give in support <coughs> to the Swamini in this feeling is how Lasat. She is happy for her happiness. You know, even she is his lover. She is thinking for his lover or happiness. Other things. But she only thinks the happiness of his boss, something. Mm -hmm. She is only doing for that. And she is very satisfied when she becomes happy. Mm -hmm. And when she says, Why are you bothering? I'm with you. And Samni says, You are, I'm in your center. You take care of me. I have nothing capacity to do anything. This is the sharnagati of the boss for the <coughs> because of our last So caring, she is so caring. This divinity only you can see in her other places, they have different, different bhav. Yes. Yeah. I was uh, thinking that when the love becomes so condensed and so highly selfless, then love means selfless. Love is not selfless. Yeah, but there are different the love requirements. Yeah. Is the totally selfless? That's the love. Yes. Then I love becomes with the some selfish desire. It changes different name. Yeah, true. But still, the sakis also have a high love for Shrimati Radhika. But when this and love again, is, again, I'm separate. Yes. I love why for Radhika? Because the good is Krishna. That if I will be 
close to you than I can wait easily or as This was the intention of love and friendship. The my desire to catch him any time for one minute. <laughs> this was the desire to be in such a Only for one minute, for five minutes. That is a more easy to you because you will go to Kaikaka and people. And this five minutes is sufficient for me to be. <laughs> And you have to sleep also. So I'm in the home. And you are sleeping at a time. So yes. that way, they are very close and very friendly with uh, what I want to express to the, these books that we are reading have different, different purports. I realized while you were reading also. Different, different purports. Yeah. To understand different way that this is Sanchari and this is a sky. Yes. But Sanchari wants to see his purpose. And as I want to see this position, it depends upon the text. Yes. Because if somebody has a Krishna goal, he wants to find how I to find Krishna. Yeah, yeah, that is that. That is the hidden desires of this. Yes. But I want to read one verse, uh, I mean, one sentence. That was not in your purport, and I like it very much because it reminds me of this purity of the maidservant. Blessed is this maidservant that she can render such service. She provides shelter to Swamini, who is the shelter of Sri Mahan. Who is again the shelter of the whole world? And that reminds me of this morning what we were speaking today, where you were clarifying Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's position that it's Krishna who takes shelter of Swamini. So again, it reminds me that the love of Swamini is so high and so pure that Krishna himself would like to feel that and also learn that because it's foreign to him. He has no experience with that. And so also when, when Swamini goes on Abhisa, and the light, the small maid servants are so pure and so, you know, only in her interest. Then she also becomes in there to take shelter of them. Honesty, sincerity, and love, and mood as one. And this makes the oneness. Smallest servant. I just like me. But, but without becoming the smallest servant, I just like and not come. This Chaitan Mahaprabhu follows. If you are not trying to become a small, highest realization will never come. You will be always in Sanchari, in position. Position means you want to control something like a Sanchari. Go be their controller. Want to speak about Lakshmi? 
can't see. The nature of controlling, nature of judgment is come to the Saki. They are judging. Manjali is not judging. She never lived. No, no, I don't mean. No, they will do. I give the point. I don't mean. You say my words. Today, today I hear I see more. By the mercy of God, I turn the table and as a bunch of my good day. So sometimes we see Stai Baba and Sanchari. So, and uh, sometimes we don't understand what is Sanchari. So theoretically we say, oh, somebody go to Krishna, sometimes go to Krishna, sometimes go to Radha. This is say Sanchari. But actually, now Gurudev is saying, if we have some tendency to, to control or judging, that's nature coming from Krishna. So if we go to Krishna means we want to control some tendency of control, independent, and judging. If we have that nature, even little bit, like love me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Sanchari Baba actually. <laughs> so, Stai Baba means now Guru Dev say smallest, lowest servant. And this very much mystery in this in this spiritual world. Because lowest one, smallest one can get highest to realization. But we are thinking by knowledge, by experience, by information, we think, oh, I know many things. But actually, it is, it is not right. If we become dasa, 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 or someone who is a dada dash. And then that person can be stiper. So that means if we act, or oh, I, I am smallest, lowest one. I'm acting. Please others, please other devotees, please Gurudev, please Swami. If fix it, that tendency. And then no ego, no false ego. That person could be Stai Baba. Master, you. In association of uh, Sanchari, how will make Sanchari? Yes, so therefore, if we associate someone who is Sanchari Baba, someone who has con controlling tendency, someone who has independent tendency, reject them. Then, if, if, we, distance. if we associate them, then we become Sanchari. So this is very subtle. If they are your disciple and doing, you keep distance from them. If you want to protect. Yes. If you make close to them, 
Kaput. <laughs> you will become first Kaput because they will insult you. Yes, you I say. So I associate only and be close with them. They want to change themselves and they want to be a spy. It's very, very important thing, my children. Very, very important thing. Very, very important thing. Then we are in right path. If not, then we will, after entering so much effort, again we catch the wrong path. Mm -hmm. This is Maya Shakti of Krishna. Mm -hmm. Right. So, this is very, no, by the mercy of Guru Dev, by, by the mercy of Rashka Vaishnava. I can. Okay. Actually, this whole world we can see is made for those who like to enjoy. Why not repeat my word? I have no mic. So why not you say what I say? Why not repeat? They are not listen. <laughs> so, therefore, if we associate... Say my word, Sadhu Maharaj is telling this. Yes. Sadhu Maharaj is telling this. So, we, we have to be very careful. If we associate someone who has Sanchari Baba, then we are contaminated, we we affected by that association. So if we want to stay Sai Baba, then we have to keep away from this Sanchari Baba devotees and uh, stick to associate someone who has Stai Baba. That's Sadhu Maharaj Gurudev saying. Right, Gurudev? 100%. They will pollute us. They will make dirty. So, and they will create that you also become a Sanchari. So if we associate to some of our Sanchari Baba, then that person pollute us then we have also tendency to become Sanchari Baba. Then our purity we lost. And we cannot be Radha Das. We will only search, but we will not fit. And then that person is always gathering information, always searching. But that person cannot get the other thing. That is Baba Urasa, that is like Torashi Manjari. I was just listening to this and I, I realized, first of all, I realized how my own mind is polluted with many impurities. And I try to watch myself and I realize why Gordon is, is like teaching this so strongly the last three days or so that this uh, we really want to keep our friendships on a spiritual level. It's so important to become more and more pure and selfless in our services and not try to get position or any control and not try to control others because we think they they have to be controlled because maybe when we become more in style bar food we become more sensitive and easily to control. If you want to be close with Radhika, 
then she say you are taking you are responsible to take care of them this desire is there then other control him you want to close with radhika what is your goal are you you want to serve to radhika you have to see radhika a material world sanchari bhav Evidently meeting with Krishna, some love puja pratista, <laughs> control something. Yes, Guru was explaining that this desire to control comes from the desire to have love pushta pratista. That means uh, puja, the worship. to be recognized by others as a very special person <coughs> to be right on being on that to be worshiped to be recognized to maybe that others say oh very great devotee always doing nice service and this is like a very subtle impurity that we want to try to look good even in bhakti because we are reflecting the old habits in our spiritual life so that is a purification needed and that's why these situations arise when we also make the mistake we want to control our brothers and sisters we want to even control our guru and then this a uh, big problems happen and then shimati radhika says oh this is not my uh, close associates if you want to behave like that you should go to krishna and become purified by taking many big posts and many big incarnations to come therefore it is so difficult Therefore, it is so difficult to find a bona fide guru because maybe they are Rasika Vaishnavas, but nobody has desire to become guru because of the danger. People start worshiping you. People start throwing the money to you. Everybody put you very high position. you have to be very pure to be stayar in that position of a guru and therefore it's so difficult to find someone who is real qualified guru if we are not pure then everything will come and will give temptation mane pratishta puja everything so is not only rare to find rasika vaishnava is more rare to find rasika vaishnava who out of mercy will take disciples to help accept the students my god that is yeah this is a very good point <coughs> so gurudev told me told to us if guru has good guru does not have purity cannot to help others or cannot to say it so Love means the kind of profit, you know, money, some kind of, you know, get something, some profit. Nice food. Nice food. You know, nice house. You know, nice car. You know, nice surrounding. And also, adoration is puja. Oh. 
you worship me, you know, I am great person. And this, this adoration, puja, and then pratishta, distinction, oh, I am special person. You know, you are, you are ordinary person, I am very special, that kind of mentality. So this, this, only pure Guru Dev, pure Rashika Vaishnava could understand disciples' uh, situation. Like a foolish, like me, you know, always like a so we need always that association, pure Vaishnava association. Who can free from all these uh, lava puja pratishta and material design. So so Gora Chandra Pab says really true. It's very difficult to find Rashka Vaishnava. But more difficult to find some of Rashka Vaishnava and some of who can take accept disciples like me and always correct sometimes chastise this we need it but sometimes we are thinking oh Guru Dev is very heavy to me Guru Dev maybe don't like me no actually this correction, chastisement is great, great mercy. Like uh, father, mother, sometimes correct us, sometimes chastises us. But out of love and care, father, mother is doing. So Guru Dev also same similar. Guru Dev is full of mercy. Guru Dev is praying for our welfare. We're you know praying for all conditioned souls. Only Guru Dev's mercy, our ignorant eye, will open. So I'm very much grateful and thank you, Guru Dev. And thank you for all Vaishnava, Rashka Vaishnavas. And by your association, I can be in light path. I can stay in light path or light mood and in Staipa. That is Gora Chandra Babu helping us. And all other devotees, Gora Sundara, Suniti, other devotees. And especially Guru Dev helping us. Hmm. Jai Nanda Maharaj, he explained so nicely that when we become the smallest, the smallest, 
then we can get the highest. What Suniti was reading, the whole world is taking shelter in God or Krishna. And Krishna himself takes shelter of Radharani. And now here in this beautiful Leela, Radharani taking shelter of the Manjari. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> that is the highest. But we have to become the smallest. And in the beginning of this verse, purport, Anantadas Babaji writing, every soul can become maidservant of Srimati Radharani. This is great gift of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. In the mood of Radharani. So it's Radharani's desire to give that position to everyone. Because she needs the help <laughs> in this situation when she has some fear in the night and the forest. Yeah. <laughs> but we have to become smallest. She who can control the highest controller by her love, by her purity, she also wants to be controlled by her. She also wants fully able to rely on her dasis. And so when the Lord he can see this relationship. He also became curious. How does this be? So also Lord Chaitanya was not only giving this dasiba, but also feeling, experiencing it by becoming servant of Srimati Radhika taking position of servant, of ashraya, of taking shelter. That's a big mystery. And it starts here also in our human experience to be giving shelter in love, to assist those who really want to serve love. And to give service that is so difficult that nobody really wants to do it if we are in our egos. At least me. I'm always afraid to take this responsibility because 
good if you always say that becoming mandarin makes us so vulnerable, so sensitive. And the more sensitive and vulnerable and small we become, become there's also big possibilities for big mistakes and big pain. But small, small no mistake, they have no mistakes. Big has big mistakes, big problems. Who <laughs> <laughs> did say that the smallest of the smallest have no problems and no mistakes? They will they, do mistakes. They will do. They will do. Can do. <laughs> it's natural for the That's small it. ones to do mistakes. They will a big one to make uh, their pants full. <laughs> but for big ones, it is more problematic. So, foolish become big, intelligent become smaller. Foolish try to become big and intelligent. So, it's Odysseus uh, inspiring us to stay smaller and smaller and smaller. It's more safe position. Because of the misusing of the word intelligence. <coughs> In this world, they count the intelligence by the possibility in your brain how much information you can get. This is named EQ. IQ. IQ. <laughs> IQ. So, but the intelligence of the soul, that means eternal intelligence, is different. This capacity of information is temporary and it not depends really on the soul. But this whole world counts this so-called intelligence. The real intelligence is love and feelings in relationship. This is meaning of intelligence. But this word is not counting this. They neglecting it. They cut the relationships. And so we are here again to grow up our relationships, eternal relationships. And this to our Swamini in a fixed mood, and this will be eternal. So now it fits together, those qualities of the eternal body and the eternal soul. This relationship will never end, it will always grow. <laughs> So we have to change this meaning of intelligence. So we could say that practicing Radha Dasyam is the highest, most pure, and most elevated form of emotional intelligence. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>